amazing you are. And I really want to thank God for the manifestation that you are in Christ Jesus. Amen. To God be the glory. Today, 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 I just wanted to bring an encouraging word onto the majority of us because we have entered into a brand new dimension in the Father for some absolute beautiful reason. Yes, I was reminded, you know, about two years ago, thereabout, and this is the dimension of what happened. So the Lord basically gave me a time. He said, I need you to go in to pray. He gave a specific time to go in and then to pray. In obedience, I got up and then went in and then began to pray. And right in that moment, as I continued, I continued and I continued and I felt like, you know what? <laughs> I need to get up from here and then get back out there. Amazing. I stepped out and then Holy Ghost was like, look at the time. By the time I looked at the clock, an hour and some minutes had gone by. And I'm like, how is this possible? I was only there for a few minutes. <laughs> Do you see that? I was only there for a few minutes. And it felt like, my goodness, an hour felt like a few minutes to God be the glory. So what eventually happened? Not long right after that, there was a, a, a news right there. And on the news, they began to report that the earth is spinning faster than the usual. What does, what does that mean? That the earth was spinning a lot faster than normal. So this was where the Lord began to help me to understand acceleration. That acceleration is manifesting in creation. So for many of you, it seems like things have just slowed down completely. Like, you know, you've been expecting things, you've been waiting on things to happen, things to move in what God has called you to do, but all of a sudden it just slowed down and you're wondering, why has it slowed down all of a sudden? Now, let me help you to understand. Sometimes the reason why God slows a whole lot of things down is because he's trying to get you into rest. Yes. So you might see yourself, you're doing little, but with so much fruit. Yes, you're doing little, but you're bearing so much fruit. And that is the rest the Lord has called us into. So hence the reason why things slow down. You might feel like maybe before you used to rush and do things. I have to do this. I have to do that. I have to do that. But now things have just slowed down and you're there and you're like, what is happening? <laughs> what is happening? I can't seem to understand it. But the truth of it is the father was slowing you down so that you can rest. Why? Because you have been busy for such a long time. Yes, you have been. You have been basically taking care of family. You have been doing the work he's called you to do. You have been evangelizing, you've been interceding, you've been praising, worshiping, you've been reading your word diligently, you've been helping people that you need to help, you've been basically, you know, reconciling as it's basically leading you to, and you have been doing it faithfully, diligently, you have been serving with purpose, with a good heart and a good motive. For that reason, the Lord is pleased with you. Yes, he is. So for your service in creation, hence the reason, Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 4, and God said, enter into rest. Hence the reason why things slow down. Now, I want you to understand this. The Bible says, I am redeeming time because the days are evil. Now, the Lord is in this hour. The reason why I share the testimony of the prayer coming in and coming out and an hour and some minutes had gone by, the Father is about to accelerate some things in your life. Whatever you have been waiting on the Lord for, whatever you have been expecting from the Lord, whatever you have been praying for and the prophetic word has gone forth, the promise of the Lord has been released, now is the time that things are beginning to happen so very fast and it is happening quickly. I hope some of you, you are ready because for what is about to happen, 
Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a place where one minute, you know, you don't have a job. The next minute, they call you for an interview. Yeah, maybe you've been waiting for a job for the past six months. All of a sudden, one day, you get a phone call coming for the interview. You go in for the interview and they say, start tomorrow. Do you see how quick? And you're like, where was this job all this while that I've been searching for you? For some of you, you've been waiting maybe to travel or to move into another city or into another state or country. Now you've been waiting for one thing or the other. Now you're about to receive a phone call and you're about to move ever so quickly that you have time even to prepare for it. Can I give you a dimension in the Bible? I'm glad you said yes. <laughs> there is a dimension in the book of what? John chapter 6. Majority of the time we read this, but we haven't literally taken it into context of how this can actually happen. Now, the Bible says, this was Jesus walking on water. He says it was in the evening. He was basically, you know, he was, you know, the disciples went down the lake and they got off the boat and they were about to cross into what? Into Capernaum. It says it was dark and Jesus had not yet joined them. So while they were basically on the boat and they began rowing, Jesus said, it is I. Don't be afraid because they saw somebody walking on water like, hey, is this a ghost or is this somebody? But yet they realized Jesus saying to them that it is I, do not be afraid. And the Bible says, as soon as he said that, they were willing to take him on the boat. And as soon as Jesus came on the boat, immediately they got to their destination. Look at the acceleration. They were still rowing, still rowing, still rowing on the boat. And Jesus comes in, joins them on the boat, and immediately, we don't know how far out they were from the destination. We don't know how far out they were, you know, from where they needed to be. We don't know how long they needed to get where they needed to get to. But the Bible says that immediately Jesus joined them. They got to their destination. There was no time to be wasted. There was no delay that needed to be manifested. They got there on time and quickly too. And this is what is about to happen in some of your lives. For those of you who have been prepared, who have been ready, and the Lord has positioned you. Things are about to move so quickly. One minute, you're in Africa. By the time you basically look, you know, like what's happening? Two days, three days, four days, a week later, you are already in Europe. Do you see how quick the Lord is about to move you? Yes, because the Bible says, I am redeeming time because why? The days are evil. So for what God is doing in this hour, he's redeeming time. And you're going to see that time manifest like none other ever before. This is about to be an acceleration you've never experienced before. For some of you, Maybe you've been doing the work in ministry and you haven't been seeing the fruit of it. This is where the Lord is about to move on your behalf. And then eventually you work, you went to bed, yes, and then you woke up the next morning, your phone going off, your emails going off. All of a sudden, your channel, all of a sudden, everything about you has been released into creation. People are like, where is this? Where was this person yesterday? Where have you been? This is the acceleration God is about to manifest in your life. Why? Because I am redeeming time because the days are evil. Let's go to another scripture quickly. In the book of 1 Kings and chapter what? 18 verse 45 and verse 46. The Bible says, Meanwhile, the sky grew dark with clouds and wind and a heavy rain began to fall. So Ahab rode away and went to Jezreel. I'm sure a lot of you, you are quite prominent with this scripture where, you know, Elijah had just brought down Baal and his altar and eventually he went to pray. And as he was praying, what happened? The Bible helped us to understand that he told the servant, go and look, you know, just go and look, you know, is there any clouds or whatever it is? He went and looked, he said, I see nothing. He said, go back again. He came back, he said, I see nothing. He went back the seventh time and came back. And what did he say? He said, I see a handful of clouds. He said, run down. Run to Ahab. The rain is coming. Because it had rained in Israel for such a long time. Do you see that? Elijah prayed and then it began. Can you see? With a handful of clouds. 
It didn't just stay there. The Bible went us to understand that as that handful of cloud came, all of a sudden, the clouds grew dark. And as it grew dark, the Bible says, and the rain began to fall. Not, it didn't stop there altogether. Do you know how it continued? In verse 46, and said, And the hand of Elijah, and the hand of the Lord, sorry, came upon Elijah. He tucked his cloak into his belt and ran ahead all the way to Jezreel. He ran ahead of Ahab all the way to Jezreel. So some of you, God is about to give you a supernatural acceleration in your finances, in your ministry, in your business, in everything that pertains to you. For some of you, you were single yesterday. You're about to be accelerated. One minute you went out. The Lord said, that is her. That is him. Three months later, you're married. Do you see the acceleration God is bringing upon your life? It's about to be a quick thing like you've never experienced it before and it is manifesting in this season acceleration now it doesn't stop there <laughs> it goes on in the book of amos chapter 9 verse 13 to 15 the bible says in verse 13 of the message translation it says yes indeed it won't be long now god's decree things are going to happen so fast your head will swim one thing happen fast on the heels of the other you will not be able to keep up yes everything will be happening at once and everywhere you look blessings on blessings do you see that dimension it says everything will begin to happen so fast do you remember when I started in the beginning and I helped us to understand that for what is about to happen, <laughs> there is no slowing down in this one. No, not at all. Because God is about to accelerate some things in your life. Things that have seemed so stagnant and it seemed like you couldn't move forward. Now is the time. Yes, the rocket is about to be launched and you are about to take off like never before. And while you are taking off, all of the creation is watching as you are taking off. And there is nothing anybody could do about it. It is your time and it is your season. This is your moment of acceleration. Welcome to a new dimension. Congratulations because you made it. He's redeeming time because the days are evil. So here is it. You're about to move ever so quickly like you've ever thought it before. It's your acceleration. Amen. To God be the glory. I bless each and every one of you. I love each and every one of you. You all are the glory of Zion and I honor you all in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. God bless you. I love you.